हरे कृष्णा मोर डेंजरस देन द एनिमीज दैट थ्रेटन आर द एनिमीज दैट टेम्प्ट For all of us, if we say if some if we are fighting a war, then the enemy who threatens by directly confronting, they are telling us if you don't withdraw, if you don't submit, we will destroy you. Those enemies are evident for us. But suppose the enemies tempt us, that that you know they send some agents who say that you will you know you just stop this fight and we will give you this this reward and we will give you that reward. uh will they are basically trying to bribe or corrupt us then if there still enemies then they, they what they promise they will not deliver they will use that as a lure to deceive us to get us to lower our guards and destroy us but because they are promising us pleasure and not threatening trouble uh, we may well lower our guards and once our guards are lowered then we will be under greater danger that's why the enemies that tempt are more dangerous than the enemies that threaten and this applies especially in our inner world we have within us forces of illusion such as lust anger greed especially lust which are inimical but they promises a lot of pleasure and why are they inimical because firstly they deliver very little pleasure and then after that they deliver a lot of trouble we become more entangled in worldly things we do bad karma for which we get terrible consequences and thus overall we get into the more we indulge sensually the more trouble we court eventually and the bhagavad gita though spoken on the battlefield stresses that such self destructive desire which comes with the lure of pleasure is is our foremost enemy in 337 it is said महाशनो महाकामेश क्रोधेश रजोगुण समुद्भव महाशनो महापापमा विद्ये नमह वैरिण नो दट दिस इज युअर ग्रेटेस्ट एनिमी ऑफ अर्जुन विद्ये नम हू इज इट इट इज काम इट इज लास्ट विच विल डिजनरेट इन टू एंगर एंड विच विल इम्पेल अस टू डू सेल्फ डिस्ट्रक्टिव थिंग्स एंड इवन वर्ल्ड डिस्ट्रक्टिव थिंग्स so suppose we knew that there was a enemy who was out to destroy us maybe a business rival or somebody who has uh, taken a vow to destroy us we would be extremely alert but more dangerous than them than any such outer enemy is our inner enemy and we need extreme vigilance to protect ourselves and to be vigilant because this when is this enemy is invisible and because it is insidious promising pleasure we need repeated spiritual education uh, edu- philosophical education and spiritual redirection to protect ourselves thank you hare krishna